Unleash is the largest open source feature management tool out there. It's simple, it's fast, and it's flexible. How does it work? Well, in Unleash, you typically divide your features into projects. So let's look at one of these to get started. In this project, I have two features and two environments. The two features are Checkout AB and Simplified Signup. The two environments are Development and Production. Now, as you can see, both features are enabled in development, but only one of them is enabled in production. So let's look at the simplified signup feature to get a bit more insight into how Unleash deals with environments. So the simplified signup feature is enabled both in development and in production, but it gets rolled out to different users in both environments. Let's have a look. If we expand the development card, we'll see that there's one strategy here. It's a standard strategy, meaning it's on for all users. In other words, in development, everyone has access to the simplified sign-up feature. In production, however, it's slightly different. The first strategy here is a gradual rollout strategy. And it says that 27% of the base who match the constraints is included. In other words, 27% of our users will see this feature if they satisfy the constraint. Now, the constraint here says that the current time has to be after February 1st, which at recording time is in the future. That means until February 1st, this strategy will be false for all users and no one will see this feature unless they satisfy one of the other strategies. We also have another strategy here. It's a standard strategy again. But this one too has a constraint. In fact, it has a segment. A segment is a more advanced way to target your user groups. It stays in sync across features, and you can reuse it as many times as you want to. In this case, we have a segment called beta testers, which means we have created a group that we call beta testers, and they get access to this early. So those are the basics of how a feature tool works in Unleash. Let's move on and look at how some of the enterprise features work. Specifically, let's talk about change requests. Unleash's approval flow. We'll be using a different project for this. In this project, before any changes can happen in production, they need to be reviewed and then applied. I've already gone ahead and set up the change requests, so let's see what it is. In a change request, you can see who created the change request, all the changes they've made, and whether it's been reviewed or whether it's not been reviewed, you can add your comments, and you can talk about it, and you can figure it out. In this case, we'll say, yeah, we approve these changes. Once it's been approved, you can also then go ahead and apply it later. Let's do that right now. And boom, changes are now in production. And that, my friends, is Unleash.